Hello, everyone. I am Joyce Ann, and I am the Kentucky Dolly Mom. If you are one of my amazing subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. And if you would like to become one of my amazing subscribers, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Happy Wednesday, and I want to welcome, welcome everyone. I hope everyone is doing wonderful. I, on the other hand, am sick, so I hope that I can get through this without coughing too much because I have got it in my chest, sore throat, ears, the whole nine yards. So, but I did want to get on here. Uh, as you guys know, I had ordered a cuddle body for Gabriel. Uh, and I got it today. And I have to say, I'm very, very disappointed. With the shipping and taxes, this cost me $82. $82 for this body. And if it had been made the way I was expecting it to be made, I would have been happy with that because this is going to be for my personal baby. And of course, I, I would have been thrilled. You know, didn't mind paying the extra for the details. However, I did not get any details. Uh, if you will look at the picture that I posted on my community wall of the body that I was expecting. Uh, it's got fingers and toes. It's a very detailed little body. This is what I received in the mail today. This is it. No toes. No fingers. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad quality body. It is a good quality body. Not what I'm expecting. Look at the hands. Where's the fingers? Where's the fingers? I mean, this is not any better than any other body that I could have ordered for probably half the price. It is a preemie size. $82, guys. Uh, she also almost, almost double charged me for the shipping which I was very disappointed in that alone. But when I got the body and seen that this is nothing, and then I'm telling her there's no way to stuff it uh, because the arms and the legs are sewn on. So she told me, well, there's a little split in the arms. Let me see if I can find it. Well... There is one, because I did see it. Let's see. There it is. There's a little hole in the body, I mean in the arm, and a little hole in the legs. So, there's where I'm supposed to stuff it, is these little holes. Then that means I've got to sew that up. Now, I'm not, I don't sew. I do not sew. She knew that. Um, and how would I sew it on the inside, too, without the thread showing? I don't sew. Uh, I was expecting to be able to stuff it from the inside. But even, even so, there's no fingers. It is anatomically correct. She didn't do a bad job on that at all. But there's no fingers, no toes. This is not worth $82. And like I said, $82. She charged me $17 for shipping, light as a feather, in an envelope, not even a box. $17 is what she charged me for shipping, and the actual shipping was only $9.65. Um, but I wouldn't have complained even about that had I got what I was expecting. No fingers, no toes. You know, you can order these bodies a lot cheaper than that. The detail is what I wanted the body for. The detail of the fingers and the toes is what I wanted the body for. And as you can see, there's no, 
no fingers, no toes, and then the way she's got it made, I have to sew it up in order to close it after I see after I stuffed it. Well, her reasoning behind this is what she said was I asked for an unstuffed body. I've ordered unstuffed bodies before. I've ordered stuffed and weighed bodies. Now, when I've ordered stuffed and weighed bodies, I've always had to re-weigh them. I've always had to re-stuff them. So why pay extra for the stuffing and the weight if I'm going to have to redo it anyway? So I always order my bodies empty. I stuff and weigh them myself. Now, she didn't come back and say, well, if you don't want it stuffed, then I can't give you fingers and toes. She never said that. She never told me that. Honestly, guys, am I being unreasonable? Or how would I have known that if she didn't tell me that? If she didn't tell me, you know, you do understand that if I don't stuff it, there won't be fingers and toes. I can't do it that way. I would have understood that. And I would have said, well, that's not what I want, so I just won't order it. That's not what I was told at all. She did send me a picture after it was done. And, of course, the way it was laying, I just thought the way it was laying, it was hard, you know, to see whether it had fingers and toes or not. Um, but I, I was not expecting this. And I am sending it back. Uh, I will be sending it back. And hopefully, I mean, she's been a little, you know, she's wanting to go back and forth, back and forth. Well, you didn't tell me you didn't want, you wanted fingers and toes. I sent her the picture, which is exactly the same picture that's on my community wall. This is what I want. I mean, like I said, I don't sew. Maybe it is, you know, I'm not saying it's impossible to, to do the fingers and the toes if it's unstuffed. She is, she's the one that's making it. I feel like it's her obligation to have explained that to me, not being a sewer at all. Um, I, I didn't know. She didn't explain it that way. And I'm just not going to accept a $40 body for $80. I'm just not going to do it. She even charged me 20 extra for the little boy bits. I mean, yeah, yeah. So the body itself was 60 and then she charges me 20 extra dollars for the little boy bits. I was okay with that. That's what she charges. I was fine to pay it. But when I get it and it's like this, and there's no fingers and toes, which the details, if you look at the picture that I put on my community wall, the details was why I wanted this body. And like I said, that's a $40 body that she's charged me $80 for. And I just can't do it. Um, I just, I can't do it. So, I'm going to be sending it back. Uh, hopefully, there won't be a problem with her giving me a refund because this is definitely not what I was expecting. She's saying it's my fault because I told her I wanted the body unstuffed. Okay, I did want it unstuffed. That doesn't tell me that that's going to change the whole design of the body. Right? Right, guys? Please give me your comments below. I want to know. I'm fair. I pay for what I want. I pay for what I get. Uh, am I wrong to have expected fingers and toes when that's the way I was told it was going to be made? You know, according to the picture. Um... I, I don't know, guys. I just very, very disappointed 
that and all she had to have said was you know like i said she's the one makes the bodies i don't sew i don't know how it's done all she would have had to say was you do understand that if it's not stuffed i can't make fingers and toes that's all she had to do is tell me that i would have understood i would have either decided not to have gotten it or I would have said, go ahead and do it. I wasn't told that not getting it stuffed was going to change the entire design of the body. I was not told that. So, needless to say, I'm very frustrated, very aggravated. And for her to just go back and forth, back and forth, telling me that this is my fault, because I clearly said I wanted it unstuffed. I did want it unstuffed. But like I said, not getting it stuffed just means that when I get it, I'm going to put it together and I'm going to stuff it myself, right? I didn't realize it was going to change the entire design of the body. And her being the creator of this body, she should have told me that. I mean, it's a nice body. It, it's not bad, but like I said, I could have got the same thing elsewhere for 40 and been charged fairly for the shipping. Um, may not have been anatomically correct, but I mean, who cares? I, I thought that was a nice touch. And to go with the hands and feet, that would have been amazing. But that's not what I got. That is not what I got. So, guys, I'm not going to keep you. I just, I'm very upset. Very, not upset. I'm, I'm more just disappointed. Um, you know, this is the third body that I've tried to get. Uh, and believe me, the other two bodies, the seller, huh, very easy to work with. Um, they just were too small. The, you know, the, the other two bodies that I ordered was just way too small for the kit, and she just gave me absolutely no hassle at all, send it back, I'll refund, and that was the end of it. This lady wants to argue with me and tell me this is my fault, and I don't see how it's my fault. I don't know how she would have thought I was going to sew that when I don't sew. I think that's something she could have told me. Uh, because that's not the way it is with the other bodies that I've ordered. I've, I've used Reggie bodies many times. And, you know, you can go right through the arms, right through the arms, right through the legs, stuff, and you're, you're good. I've never had to sew on a body to finish it up. And like I said, you can't turn it inside out and sew from the inside. And me not being a sewer, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to do it. See, I don't know how to sew that on the outside without showing the thread. And if you sew, you know exactly how to do it. I don't know how to do it because I do not sew. But this is it. This is the body I received. And if you look at the picture that I put in my on my community wall, that's the body I was expecting. This is not the body I was expecting right here. The one on my community wall is what I was expecting. And as you can see, it's much nicer than this. Uh, this is a nice quality body. I'm not saying that. But the detail with the fingers and the toes was the main reason I wanted to order that body. And I just feel like I should have been told that the design of the body was going to be totally different if I didn't want it stuffed. And I'd love to know your comments. Am I being unreasonable? Should she have told me that the design of the body was going to be different? Should she have told me you do realize there won't be fingers and toes if I don't stuff it? Stuff it? I mean, I just feel like she should have, um, because I've never ordered from her before, and I just had no idea 
that not getting the stuffed body, because like I said, when I order bodies, I always get them unstuffed because I had started out getting the stuffed and weighed bodies and I have to redo it anyway. Uh, it makes the shipping less when you're not, you know, they're not weighed and and stuffed. And then if I have to re-weigh and stuff it myself anyway, then what's the point? Uh, so I really thought she should have explained to me that she couldn't do fingers and toes unless it was stuffed. That I could have made the decision on not to get it or to go on and get it. And then I would have gotten exactly what I was expecting. But that's not what I did. My little Jessie Marie is laying here all sweet and beautiful. I tell you what, she, um, she uh, is my sweetheart. I have um, ordered the Polly Sculpt by uh, Toby Morgan, and I've ordered it from uh, Sherry Baldwin. I believe that's going to go in the mail today. She's already let me know that it's poured and ready to go. Uh, and then Jessie Marie will get the Polly Limbs. That's the plan anyway. Jessie Marie will get the Polly Limbs, and then I will put the Peanut Limbs on the poly head uh, and like I said once she's done she'll be available but that's in another video I just she got my little sweet girl here all the time she's always with me I love this little girl and she's gonna calm me down after such a disappointing morning Having such a disappointed morning, she's going to, she is going to um, calm me down. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to let you go. As always, as always, I appreciate you coming by and visiting me in my little corner of the world. I wish it was more of a happier video and that I was thrilled because the plan was I was going to get him weighed and stuffed and then I was going to put his head on. Uh, and with you guys, but that's not the way it worked out, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to let it completely ruin my day, um, I'm just not, things could be worse, right, <laughs> if this is all I have to worry about, things could be worse, so, I'll, I'm not going to sweat it. I'm just going to send it back and hopefully have no problem with her getting a refund. She doesn't sound like she's willing to do that, but we will see. We will see. So, guys, please, as always, give God thanks, because if it wasn't for him, we would not be here in the first place. Let's be kind, let's be nice, and let's be supportive of one another. You never know what someone's going through. I love you guys. You know you're in my thoughts and prayers. Because God doesn't need me to have a specific name to know who I'm talking about. And I do, with all my heart, sincerely pray for each and every one of you. I hope that you are enjoying some nice sunshine. We have actually got some good sunshine right now. Um, it's been really raining and a lot of people's been flooded and I, my heart goes out to those who are struggling uh, with the weather, the storms, the floods. Know that you are in my thoughts and prayers as well. So you guys, please have a very nice day. I hope you're going to be able to do something fun and enjoyable. Remember, I love you. Honestly, I do with all my heart. And I do appreciate you taking your time to come and visit me in my little corner of the world. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Share with your dolly friends so my channel could continue to grow. And until next time, guys. Please, please, have a blessed, blessed day. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye for now.